Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to close a snap off watch back with a watch press. This will be an easy to follow step by step tutorial. Let's get right to it. As you can see right here, I have a watch and the backing right here is the snap off style. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to close this snap off back onto the watch using a watch press okay so basically this is the watch press this is how it operates it basically presses the top to the bottom okay it presses it squeezes them together um, and these are some nylon dies okay so you need to find the nylon die that fits the front of the watch now you want the nylon die to go around the watch like this around the case to press up around the case you don't want to be pressing on the glass part of the watch you want it to press around and on the case okay so this one right here uh, looks like it should fit so I'm just gonna test fit it right here and as you can see just like that it is actually pressing around the watch okay so it's pressing around the watch on the outside of the case I'll just hold it up like that just so that you can see it sort of presses perfectly around the case so this is the one that is going to go on the bottom and this is the side once again that will be pressing on the watch so this is going to go on the bottom but this side will be touching the watch okay once again this is the side that presses up against the watch against the front of the watch so I'm gonna place it like this now with some watch presses you can simply press the dies into place with this one you have to turn it and they get threaded into place so they sort of screw into place just like that and it's good because it keeps them flat and straight and secure okay now for the actual uh, top part over here that is the part that will be pressing against the watch backing okay so you need to find a nylon die you need to find the piece that will press evenly against the watch backing you want something that's going to sort of cover all around you don't want something that's going to be too small you also don't want something that's going to be too big because it will end up pressing against the, these parts of the watch right here so I'm just I think this one should be okay I'm going to use the smaller side of the two you can see that there's a bigger side and a smaller side I'm actually going to use the smaller side and if I press it up against there you can see that that's sort of the perfect size okay it's in my opinion the perfect size it is just a touch larger than the watch backing so you can choose a, a nylon die that is a touch larger or a touch uh, smaller than the watch backing so I'm gonna use this one once again this is the side that will be touching the watch that will be pressing up against the watch so it's gonna go on the top but this side that's touching the watch is gonna be facing down so I'm just gonna go like this and I'm actually going to turn it into place once again some watch presses simply snap into place and others uh, turn and tighten into place just like that so now the watch press is ready to be used we don't need these nylon dies for this watch the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna actually get the watch backing and just get it in place over the watch so just make sure it's nice and straight the way that you want it to be get it in place over the watch just like that you are going to place the watch into position okay and make sure that it's nicely um, on the die nice and flat just like that okay make sure that everything is centered and it's ready to go now all that you have to do is grab the watch press like this and then squeeze it down together okay now with most watches you will hear the watch back snap into place you'll hear a clicking sound but that's not the case with all watches and I know with this watch that most of the time when I get this watch backing into place you don't really hear a snapping sound okay it's very you don't really hear a snapping sound I've heard it sometimes but it's very very low volume so if you don't hear a snapping sound don't be alarmed just look to make sure that the watch backing is in place properly okay most of the time you'll hear the sound but even if you don't hear it the important thing is that you see the watch backing in place so now that the watch is in place ready to go all that you have to do is squeeze down apply nice even pressure squeeze down nicely and I actually felt a snapping I felt a clicking sound I, I felt a click I didn't hear the sound but I felt it so we're gonna take a look at the actual watch backing okay so if you take a look at the watch backing you can see this side is nicely in place there's nothing sticking out let's turn it around and this side is also nicely in place there's nothing sticking out you can see that the watch back has been pressed into place 
properly. It's literally that simple. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to close a snap off watch back with a watch press. It's a really simple process and I have outlined the step by step instructions in this video. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.